Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. It's not for the fact that you're choosing it. It's a thing of joy to me, you know. Oh, some of my princess and TV fans are chosen. <laughs> I'm happy for you guys. Okay, good day guys. Welcome to today on Princess Anu TV. And like I promised before, I said if they are going to be fixing the date for the interview or for the exams, I mean the evaluation exams, I'm going to be letting you know. But thank God the way it happened, one of you guys sent me an email telling me that you just got a text message from NCAT saying that you have been invited for the evaluation exam. So this is me officially informing you that text messages have actually been sent to the people that were shortlisted that's um to the people that were picked because i'm sure I, uh, a lot of people applied maybe over 200 or maybe less applied for that and some people have actually been picked for the interview so we are going to be discussing now that you've gotten this message because I could discover that in the message that the person sent me is like okay so what do i do about my feeding about my accommodation so we are going to be discussing some of these things what to do next now you've gotten the message that you've gotten the text message from ncat that you've been invited for the interview i'm so happy for you congratulations so now what do we do after next so stay tuned i'll be right back to tell you every single thing that you really need to know concerning this process <laughs> guys and if you're new to this channel this is princess Anna tv we talk about aviation motivation and adventure the whole whole adventure and i want to say if you've gotten that message from NCAT, congratulations it's actually a privilege i could remember when i got my own like i was feeling on top of the world like oh i'm not touching my dreams <laughs> and i'm sorry i've not made videos for a while because i've actually been a little bit busy you know flying stuff trying to get some things going so so that i can move over you know like i said i'll be graduating soon so i need to you know fasten up the process be best at my flying and everything so i'm sorry that i've not made any video but now we are into this video and um i'm going to be telling you some things that you should expect some things that you should do number one is this i can't basically say your feeding and your accommodation is going to be taken care of because me when i came i we paid for the feeding and we paid for the accommodation because they gave us that option and i don't think when the multitude is coming they are going to give that option so i've said this before take enough money for your feeding and have a backup for your accommodation in case you're not giving a place in the hostel to stay so that you can get a hotel or maybe get a hostel space there are places around like guest houses around like schools that rent out their uh schools that rent out their hostels also to people so these are things you can do for you to be able to you know get a good place to stay and you know it's not just you you should be ready to uh get through some discomforts because you don't expect you're coming for an exam and you want to be 100 percent comfortable like looking for a very expensive hotel looking for a place you can chill you know all those things just know that you have a purpose that you're coming to this area for and because of this if it means you managing like straining yourself one way or the other you will have to do this in order for you to achieve the purpose why you are coming to anchor so that's number one concerning feeding and accommodation so just come with enough money to be able to take care of yourself another thing i would like to tell you is okay since they say the exams are starting whether next week or next two weeks uh you know the dates because the date is on your invites that's on the text message that was sent to you what i would advise you to do is to travel early so that you don't get too stressed because if you are stressed and you're running into the examination hall that Monday morning for the exam, you might not do, your performance might be low. If you're planning to travel that day or if you're planning to come by night bus or if you're planning to come like few hours to the time, it might not be too good for you because you'll be stressed. And when you're under stress, people don't really perform well when they are under so much stress. Stress is good because... You see, sometimes it's good to put a little amount of stress. Only the exam alone is even a stress. 
telling you that you're going to write an exam maybe for 15 minutes or one hour, it's already a stress. So don't add to your own stress by coming late to the examination hall. And I've talked about this before. Come early. And don't forget, I made a video concerning documents you should carry and things you must carry in your travel bag. If you've not watched that video, I don't know why you should be watching this one now. Because you have to watch those videos to check those things I said you have to carry. At least is my recommendation that these are things you should carry, you know, for your entrance exams. And these are the things you should pack in your bag while you're traveling. So you don't have to forget all this, is especially your documents. Especially. If you want to forget any other thing, I don't know. But especially your documents. Do not forget those documents I listed in that video. Also, another thing I would like to tell you about is that this is the best time for you to start preparing. Now, you've been preparing quite all right, but it's good that... Now you've been given a date. Now you know what your target is towards. So if you were not putting that much pressure on yourself towards preparation, this is the best time that you put that pressure on yourself to achieve this. Because the good thing is that the competition is very high. I'm not going to be lying to you because we know that this school is one of the cheapest in the world in fact it's the cheapest in the world let me not even lie to you it's the cheapest and i made a video concerning that before it's the cheapest in the world and now people are seeing so much good in aviation companies are buying aircraft people states are getting to understand that wow aviation is good and all those things they are seeing viability in aviation and so the the pressure is much so these guys people are going to be coming so imagine competing with 100 persons and they are going to pick just 20 or they are going to pick 40 and you're competing with 200 persons or you're competing with 150 persons so you can see that your chances are slim so you need to prepare well you need to be sure that you are well prepared to be able to meet the stacks so i will advise you now that you've gotten text message now that you know the exact date you're writing this exam put your preparation like prepare better those things that you kept aside before and you say okay i'm going to read them later this is the best time start reading them now those things that you said okay i think i need to look for someone to help me solve this question i think this is the best time for you to look for that person now to help you solve that quest those questions so that you don't get stranded so that you don't feel ah i'm supposed to you know those last minute things those fire be great things please don't do fire also, like I said, the competition is going to be very high, but just because the competition is high and your chances may seem low, that doesn't mean you should not be positive about it. People have done it. I did it. People are still going to do it. So don't say, oh, they even say the competition is high. Self. How many people say they say out of 150 people, they'll pick only 20. So you lose hope. Mm -mm. And that's what I don't want here. I don't want you to have the mindset. I don't want you to believe that. I don't want you to feel that way. That's why I hate talking about things that are not positive. I hate talking about, oh, reasons why 10 people failed or people failed or all those things. I rate, I just don't like talking about failure, failure, failure. Because I always expect that positivity, like if you're positive about a thing and you believe in it so much, it will definitely happen for you. So if you believe so much, just know it that because you believe in this thing you've invested your money into this thing this thing is going to come and now secondly for those that have not gotten a text message and uh, you feel oh why have they not sent me you can make a call if you think it's necessary like if you think you, you met like your documentation requirements and all those things because i think one of the reasons why people are disqualified is either maybe because they don't have their their own level results are not complete maybe because their math is not there or their physics is not there or their english is not there or maybe they are combining three results and they are they are like okay we need just two sittings and they are combining three and one reason or the other still yet i'm going to tell you not to give up because even if you can't do it in nigeria you can still do it in another country if you can't do it now there might be a chance again that you might be able to do it somewhere else so even if you think you've not gotten uh, a text message or you feel what well, minus selected and all that you can still try again you can still ask questions you can still you know try to find out you can still buy your form again if you feel that you deserve this and they did not give you that opportunity so guys i wish you the best even as you're coming for the exams i wish you the best and 
if for adventure you have any challenge like i always say try ask questions see it's only people that ask questions that get answers and i don't mean just asking any question asking the right questions if you ask the right questions you will definitely be giving the right answers but if you just have asked questions to make fun if you just ask questions to be sarcastic if you just ask questions because maybe people are asking questions or something you will end up not getting the right answer so i wish you all the best even as you come for your exams and if by adventure you see me don't forget to say oh i'm one of princess i need to be fans and i'll greet you wholeheartedly and then uh, it's be nice you know seeing you guys around so if you still have any challenges before that time make sure you leave them in the comment section or you can send me an email and i'll be sure to read my emails as i always do and reply you on time so that you don't get stranded my mission here is always to give you this information so that you can be the best and come out with the best i don't expect after giving all this information that i'm giving you will still have an issue so and don't forget to commit everything to the hands of your god you know the god you're serving i know the god i'm serving so i always tell you i don't remove prayer out of it because i can't imagine like brains are going to be coming for this thing and i'm also going to be there and i i need something else to back me up <laughs> that's the truth i need something extra and that's why i don't joke with the god factor i'm telling you the truth if if i'm going to do my hard work if i'm going to prepare well if i'm going to bring god's documents i need and everything i should be able to have another power which is a, a supernatural power that's supposed to be able to back me up so guys till we meet next time even on the same channel keep watching princess and tv keep being the best of the best Bye, guys.